In this video, hold up. In this video, I'm gonna mow the Ola F87 Pro without opening it because what happened last time was not okay. Ola sent me this keyboard, but that will not change any of my reviews because I'm me and I'm me. What? I've reviewed the keyboard before, so let's see if this keyboard will keep up with the Aula F75. The Aula F87 Pro is a new TKL pre-built keyboard that only costs $75.99. They have a total of 5 colors, but the orange and blue is out of stock. And only one switch option. That's kinda sad. The switch is called Leobong Grey Wood version 4. And yep, here's the information. Now we're gonna move to the unboxing. So inside the box, we have two manual, of course. And what is that? Next is the dust cover and the keyboard is wrapped inside this paper thingy. Hello. The accessory is on top of the box. So we have four extra switch, keycap and a switch puller and guys, I really need a braided cable. And we have a plastic cable. So this is what my keyboard looked like. They sent me the blue and gray version. First thing that really popped out is the LED light line. I think that's what they called. The Aula F87 Pro had the same light cap lock as the Aula F75. To the top of the keyboard. Because they sent this to me, we're gonna have a three modes keyboard. So we have a switch to turn from wire to Bluetooth and to USB dongle. Next to that is a USB type C. And next to that is a USB dongle. On the side of the keyboard, we're gonna have more RGB. Ala, you guys really like RGB, don't you? Back to the front of the keyboard. We're gonna look at the keycap first. You know what? I've seen all the keycaps. They're really good, so I don't think we need to look at them. The keycap is really high quality though. <laughs> Underneath the keycaps is a switch, of course. Like I said before, the switch is Leobong Grey Wood V4. So the rules is to not open the keyboard, but I need to show you guys what's inside the keyboard. So that's not cheating, no, no, no. Unlike last time, I can open this myself. See, I'm a pro at this. So inside, we have a PC plate that are gasket mount and have flex cut. Next is a plate foam, RXPE foam, and the PCB. But this PCB is north facing, but it have flex cut. Like other keyboard, this keyboard PCB still does not support PCB stabilizers. What's going on, guys? In the bottom case, we have a really, really thin foam case. What is this gonna do? Silicone pad and a daughter board. Since this keyboard is 3 mode, we're gonna have a battery as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the review. We're gonna move on to the stock sound test. Okay, so this keyboard does not pass the Aula F75 stock sound test. And I think the main problem is the switch. I don't think Greywood is the best option for no molding. But the stabilizer is slightly better than the Aula F75. I think the Aula F87 Pro is a B tier. Next is the molding. The first thing I'm gonna do is to loop the switch. This mode is the best mode you can possibly do to your keyboard. You can just tell the difference straight away. Let me just show you the difference. Next mode, I'm gonna mod the stabilizers. Of course, gonna be wire balance, hollow mode, and loop with the electric grease. The best stabilizer combo ever exists. Next is the mode that I do for almost all of my keyboard, but I just never tell you guys. Cause I'm like that. Nah, I'm just kidding, I don't know why. Anyway, the mode called jelly mode. It's where you put jelly tape inside of your spaybar keycap. This will change your life because it will give your spaybar a deeper sound and less hollow. Because budget keyboard nowadays have full foam so we don't have to worry about hollowness or whatever. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it because I can't think of anything else to do. But you might, so let me know. Sound test time! Okay, so if I have to pick between the Aula F75 and the Aula 87 Pro, let me think. I'm gonna pick the Aula F75, of course. But this keyboard has fixed all the problems that the Aula F75 has. Like how the Aula F75 is way too hard to open it. It's because where the dongle is placed. Now, they have moved it from the top case to the bottom case, which helped a lot. But that doesn't change my mind. But if you wanna improve your molding skill, this will do the trick. So if you wanna check out this keyboard, click in the link in my description. That's pretty much it. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye!